welcome back to Bass Boxing Outdoors. Today, we're going to be doing a little unboxing from Bass Baits monthly. This is the month of August. Uh, but before we do get into that, I want to let y'all know I'm sorry about the, uh, the real giveaway drawing. I didn't do it Monday. Uh, I ended up getting stung over the weekend by Red Balls and had allergic reaction and had to go to the emergency room and ended up staying overnight uh, because the emergency room was crazy. And after that, I just haven't felt good and I really don't feel good today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, but anyways, I've never had allergic reaction to a red wolf. I've been hung by, I've been stung by hundreds of them. And I didn't think much, nothing much of it until my arms swolled to the size of three of my arms. Uh, but anyway, so that's what happened. Uh, they don't know why I, have, why I ended up having one after I just, I mean, I just got stung last weekend by one, but they didn't know what to deal with why I had an allergic reaction to it. They said sometimes it just happens. Uh, some walls seem to carry more potent uh, venom in their sting than the others, and that's just how it is. So be careful out there. Uh, don't think just because you know you've had it done once that it won't happen because it will happen uh, so just be careful out there we will do a drawing at the end of the video and uh, somebody will win the reel and all that good stuff that was in that box uh, so congratulations to the winner be sure to get a hold of me at my uh, email or Instagram bassboxandoutdoors.com or had a bass box and outdoors gmail .com. Uh, so anyways I want to say thank y'all for supporting the channel uh, some of y'all reached out and asked me what happened and I responded to some of y'all thanks for checking in on me I really do appreciate that uh, but anyways uh, let's get into this see what we got this month Bass Baits Monthly has done pretty good in their boxes the past couple of times. Uh, they're one of the better boxes out there in my opinion. And every month they seem to produce uh, a really good box. They're not a really good valued box. Like you're not going to get, you know, your box. I think this box is like 35 bucks with taxes and all or something around there. You're not going to get $50 worth of value. You'll probably get 40, 45, which is not bad, but they send really good quality baits. Quality baits and name brands and stuff like that. So you usually know what you're getting. First off, they started us off with the sticker. Pretty cool sticker. And then every month you get one of these. A little knot card shows you how to tie a knot. That's pretty cool. They don't give you a what's in the box card. So uh, usually at the end of every month I'll go through and do a breakdown of all the boxes and tell you the prices and uh, added value that you get. First up, they're going to start us off with the Z-Man Bang Sticks and Mood Ring. This is a five and three, uh, three fourths of an inch worm. Really like that color. It's got like a light purple with a light blue. Really neat. I really like that color. It's almost like a their take on a morning dawn or something without the pink and purple. Kind of cool. They got these little tentacles on the end, which make a little bit of action in the water. Of course, you know, they're stretchy. They say the more you stretch these out before you use them, actually the better it is because the salt, yeah, the salt starts coming out of it. But uh, anyway, you can't ever go wrong with Z-Man. I love all Z-Man products. I don't think there's one out there I really don't like. 
and you know this bag right here will last months and months and months I'm gonna go through the soft plastic first next up we got some net bait pocket crawls uh, this one's in the Texas crawl color it's a five inch eight pack real cool real cool color a big crawdad it's got a hollow body so it's going to put out a lot of bubbles next up we got some uh gambler six inch burner worms and june bug can't go wrong with that. This is a speed worm. Smell that garlic. Next up, we got some, uh, Owner cutting point offset worm hooks and a three out, and that's a five pack, so that's a full pack of worms. Can't go wrong with owner hooks. Next up, we got a half ounce Invisiwire Pro Picasso lures. Can't ever go wrong with Picasso lures, and uh color of this is a black red camo black blade so this right here is going to be a good color to use in muddy water and also i think this is was meant for uh night fishing if i'm not mistaken yeah it's a colorado blade big black blade on there dark profile bait uh a lot of people will be throwing this and uh at night time and of course it's got a free swinging head so that's real cool and i just really like the paint job and the color scheme of this one can't ever go wrong with picasso lures and that invisiwire is real cool i've gotten one of these before and it was a totally different uh, color. I think it was a had the Colorado or the willow leaves on it. And that was real nice. They work real good. So can't go wrong with that. Next up, we got a River to Sea Topwater Bubble Walker 80 three inches long and weighs half an ounce the color of this one is a uh, bluegill good color y'all can see real nice color on that it does look like a bluegill it's got them holes in the front it's gonna cause a lot of uh bubbles and splash and all kinds of stuff real neat it's a heavy set popper which means it's kind of fat it ain't real skinny it's a beefy one and then of course you got your feathered tail that's real cool Can't go wrong. Right now is a good time to be throwing poppers with it being so hot. You get out there early in the morning or late in the evening. Or actually even midday. Midday works out pretty good with poppers too. And then last but not least, another Picasso lure. And this one is the Shock Blade. Heavy cover. 
All right. So I did know that we were getting this in the box. I seen it in a uh, get your fish on. He said that this was the same one that we got last a uh, couple of months ago, which is totally wrong. And I'm gonna show you why. Cause here's the one we got a couple of months ago. They sent us this crawl. It was like in the early beginning of spring. I'm gonna show y'all the difference. So this one is a uh, gizzard shad with a nickel blade, three eighths of an ounce. Now here's the difference. The difference is them prongs right there. It's got a little stout brush guard built into it. That's why they call it the heavy cover. That way you can bring it through heavy cover without getting hung up. So anyway, is that the difference in them? They both run good. I think this right here, other than, other than, you know, like the jackhammer, chatterbait, and the thunder cricket, this right here is going to be your next thing in line to them. I mean, it's right up there with them. Uh, they run true. They run as soon as you hit the water. Most of the time, you don't have to give them a pop. They just start running. So I do like them. They work really well. And uh, I am excited to try this one out with that little brush guard on there. And this one has double bait keeper. So, anyways, that's a good, a good uh, box for this month, I think. What do y'all think is the question? Y'all will have to let me know. Uh, what do I do with that packaging? I throw it down here. Well, I lost the packaging to it. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, I'm losing my mind. Oh, well. So, anyways, uh, a quick recap. So, you get the uh, Picasso Shock Blade Heavy Cover. You get the Picasso Lure and Bizzle Wire Spinner Bait. You get the Owner Offset Hooks. A full pack. We got the River to Sea uh, Bubble Walker 80. You got the Gambler Burner Worms, which these are all full packs, by the way. You got the Net Bait Pocket Crawl. You got the Z Man Bang Sticks. So, that was uh, this month's box. And like I said, right after this, we'll be doing the drawing for the real giveaway. And once again, I want to say thank y'all and I appreciate all the support. And uh, like I said, the winner, get a hold of me and I will try to get your box out as soon as possible. Thank y'all for watching. And until next time, tight lines.